Hello and welcome to a P another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and this is round three of Pace's Six Ways to Awesome Tournament. Got a 1v1 between Forest, Forest, not sure how he pronounces that, I'll just call him Forest, and Burnt Custard. Burnt Custard is currently ranked number uh, two in the ladder, and Forest is, what was he, four, I think? Pretty sure he's ranked four or five, somewhere in there. At any rate, as you saw, Burnt Custard's got some skitters running around the map, and uh, Forest has got some grenadiers running around trying to find his foe. And inter that, which that's very interesting. Burnt Custard went vehicle factory first, which is very, very uncommon in the current build. Everybody goes bot factory first to get out those... Uh, all powerful bot uh, combat fabricators, but at the same time, Forrest did go bots first and doesn't have any bot fabricators. That is very interesting. Something that I have not seen people do in this tournament or like at all when when it comes to the current build. But there we go, bot fabricator being built for burnt custard. He's a good player, so I'm sure he's done this before and he knows what he's doing. Forest, I don't know. I actually have never seen him play before, so I'm very excited to to see him play. Uh, he's hurting for energy. Nope, nope. They're getting on. They're getting everything on track now. Still no combat. Fa there we go. Now a combat fabricator is rolling off from Forest. Wonder what he's gonna do with that. At this point, n still neither player knows where each other are. Probably won't last that way for much longer. There we go. Air Factory going up from both players. And units are continuing to move in all directions. Interesting that uh, it's kind of a little bit of a mistake that Forrest is having these fabricators expand down this way. He should have had these fabricators expand out this way and get new fabricators to expand down here because that would have been just a shorter walk. They would have been already working on building those uh, metal extractors, and s instead they're still walking. Um, still... Neither... There we go. Now... Now Forrest has scouted Burnt Custard, and if Burnt Custard was paying attention... Oops, Orient North. If Burnt Custard was paying attention, he would have seen about which direction those were coming from. And, uh, Combat Faber is working on producing a lot. Oh, wow. Burnt Custard's going pretty hard air. wonder if we're going to see, uh, see a bomber snipe attempt. Oh, uh... A tank over here destroying some metal extractors. You know what? Let's bring up Pip to keep an eye on things. And uh, tanks are now moving out from Forest, heading on over to Burnt Custard, who does see those incoming on radar and has scouted out Forest. And there we go. A bunch of bombers are forming up and heading out taking out that raiding tank before it finishes off the other metal extractor. Down goes the fabricator, clash of fighters, and got some clashing of units. Burnt Custard is grouped up more, and he's got lots of bombers in support. Yep, now Forrest is working on building some more air factories to compensate for uh, Burnt Custard's heavy air and is frantically trying to shoot down those bombers before they take out his metal expansions. Stinger's putting in some work, so is the fighter, but unfortunately it's not enough, and down go those fabricators, which is a very big win for Burnt Custard, prevent um, him, uh, Forrest from continuing to expand. And Huh. Burnt Custard could have easily have taken out that Stinger and then gotten in quite a few Metal Extractor kills. 
bit of a unit clash over here from in, in the no man's land and we've got some ants moving in at these uh, metal extractors as well as these fabricators that'll be a very nice win taking out those fabricators and these bombers are over here and in they go burnt custard simply or a uh, forest simply does not have the air power to deal with all of these bombers and wow down goes that that metal extractor forest really needs to do something quick about all these bombers or else he's going to uh, lose all of his metal spots he is mixing in stingers with with his uh, armies so that's very good but it's just not enough to deal with the uh, the bombers at the outlying metal ex uh, extractors. Uh-oh, and Forrest doesn't have any fabricators going around expanding and claiming metal. If he doesn't remedy that fast, that is going to cost him the match. Something that a lot of players don't do. As soon as they get uh, two or three groups of fabricators expanding in all directions, but as soon as those fabricators are destroyed, they don't continue to expand further. And if you don't continue to expand for the entirety of the match, you're going to lose. And just look at this. Look at the disparity between the, the two uh, expansion, uh, I'm sorry, economies. And it's just not going to be enough because, look, Burnt Custard is still continuing to expand. Not, no, oh, it's only got one fabricator expanding, but that's still more. Very nice incursion here from Forrest. He's got a lot of ants moving in and causing a lot of destruction, taking out several factories, but they're being thinned out by, by the bombers since he didn't bother to mix in any spinners with his attack force. Very big mistake. And at the same time, we've got a group of ants moving in from Burnt Custard towards Forrest. And Forrest doesn't have much to compensate. Now he's just got way too many spinners and not enough ants. And honestly, he'd be better off building hummingbirds as anti-air rather than, than spinners. Because he would have been able to bring in the hummingbirds to protect this attack force as well as hunt down the, those bombers, which I don't see them anymore. I guess they were all destroyed. But still, he's not expanding. He is not expanding, and that is going to cost him the match. And not only is he not expanding, but he's... Nope, those are spinners, not fabricators. He doesn't have any fabricators. Wow, Forrest does not have a single fabricator. Wow. That is, that is bad. That is not good. Um, that, that's going to cost him the match. Plain and simple. You never stop expanding. Ever. And now he's got spinners moving forward towards Burnt Custard. And those spinners aren't going to be able to destroy anything. Meanwhile, uh, Burnt Custard is continuing to amass an air force. Looks to be comprised uh, mostly of bumblebees since Forrest isn't building very many hummingbirds. And now he is, uh, Forrest is losing some of his metal expansion to these tanks and is falling further and further behind in the overall economy not looking good not looking good at all meanwhile burnt custard is still expanding only with only one fabricator and he should be using more fabricators to expand but since uh, forest isn't expanding at all doesn't particularly matter different attack groups heading off in multiple directions as well as there we go another fabricator to excuse me to uh, continue to to expand? Man, I got the hiccups. And Burnt Custard's attack force gets destroyed. And now we've got No Man's Land with a decent amount of wreckage here on the edge of Forest Base as well as in the middle of nowhere. And something that uh, players don't do much is reclaim. 
Forrest uh, could be uh, reclaiming all of these wrecks for uh, some increased metal, and those uh, combat fabbers with that increased range are fairly good at reclaiming. <sighs> Another large attack force clumping up from Burnt Custard as well as all of these fighters and bombers. It looks like they were all just given one large planet-wide area patrol. And they're shooting down Forrest's incoming bombers, and there goes all of Forrest's Air Force without dealing any damage. And now Forrest's attack force of ants is being thinned out as they stream in one by one. And interestingly, neither side is using Infernos. That's a mistake. Once Infernos get in close, they deal a lot of damage. But, more importantly, in clashes like this, the Infernos can be up front, soaking up damage, allowing um, one side to inflict more damage, or inflict more losses than they take. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much just a matter of time. Forest finally built another fabricator. but doesn't appear to be expanding with it. There's not much left Forrest can do. He is way outnumbered by total unit count as well as the uh, overall economy. Just uh, never ever stop expanding. That's the number one rule in Planetary Annihilation. Never ever stop expanding. As soon as you do, well, this happens. And if you do lose your uh, expanding or early expanding fabricators, you got to build more fabricators and keep them going. Whenever I play, I like to have a factory that does nothing but build fabricators. Just constant, never-ending fabricators. It looks like this is uh, not much. Not much time left for Forrest, and there we go. Forrest's called GG. His economy and production value just cannot keep up, and the self-destruct. Never stop expanding. That's the moral of this story. Well, I hope you uh, liked it. Uh, drop me a like if you did, and let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, because there's more tournament matches coming. I'll see you next time.